Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my Theory Tuition series where we're working together step by step through the ABRSM Theory Grades. There are lots of resources available to help you if you go to my website. If you visit SharonBill.com, you'll find some free PDF information sheets which you can download in US Letter or A4 and they accompany each step of this series with information to help you. You'll find a page there with links to all of my YouTube video tutorials and you can also find out about the books that I have available. I've written an exam technique guide, how to take your ABRSM music theory exam. It's full of tips and hints on how to best prepare for your exam and also how to make the best use of your time come exam day. So if you go to SharonBale.com you'll find it's all there. If you can give me a like that would be really fab and please do subscribe to my channel to keep updated and please do share out the videos. And now we're going to complete the last questions of paper A of the 2018 grade 4 practice papers. So if you turn with me to page 9 we can get stuck in. So I hope you've had a go of this yourself. It's always better to learn by your mistakes. Just have a go, work in pencil, and then if something goes wrong, you can just rub it out and you'll learn it more thoroughly that way, just by having a go. So we'll check through these together now. This is always my favorite section. This is the, the harmony question. So we're going to name each of the chords, which are numbered here and we need to know that we're in the key of B flat major. So before we start identifying these chords, let's look what we're going to be um, looking for. So chords one, chords four, and chords five. So we're building the triads built on the first, the fourth, and the fifth note of the scale. We're in B flat major, so chord one is built on B flat. I'm not gonna worry about the flats there because your key signature will take care of that. So step four of the scale, B, C, D, E, it would be E flat of course, but your key signature deals with that. And chord five is built on F. And then we build the triad on the first, the third, and the fifth. So B, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, A, B, and then F, G, A, B, C. And we can tell we've started this correctly here because here's the fifth degree of the scale and that's the root of chord five, so we've got a little double check there. So now we know what we're looking for, we've really done all of the hard work. So chord one has notes G, B, B flat of course, but your key signature deals with that, G, B, G, E. So E, G, B answers all of those, so that's chord four. So you can either say chord four or you can write subdominant. Um, it's okay to just write the Roman numerals though. We use Roman numerals to show a chord built on a note, a triad built on a note. A single, like an individual number, refers to single notes. That's why we use the Roman numerals to show it's a chord rather than a single note. So chord two has an F, a C and an A. So that's chord five nicely covered, or the dominant you could say. You could write dominant, but five is accepted. That's the usual way, I think, especially when you come to later grades. And then here we have a B, F, D, B. So there's our chord one. So that's job done. So we've ended on our tonic there. Let's look at the next one. So it's the same thinking now for this next question here, but we need to just sort of extrapolate that thinking further. We've got to just kind of explore a few more avenues to get to the questions here. So we need to identify these triads, but first of all, we need to name the key. And the we, so it could be chords one, four, or five, and it could be a major or a minor key. So we're gonna to have to consider all the options here. So the key, it could be D major, or it could be B minor. So if it was D major, chords one, four, and five would be D, E, F, G, A. So we'd have D, F, A, G, B, D, O, oh, A, C, E. If it was B minor, chords 1, 4 and 5 would be built on B, C, D, E, F, so B, D, F, E, G, B and F, A, C. Now our thinking isn't quite done here um, because in a minor chord, in a minor scale, the 7th degree is raised in the harmony 
so that if we think if we're in B minor, the seventh degree of the scale is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and so that A would be sharpened. It always falls as the middle of chord five, so it would be A sharp. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a B, we're in the bass clef, a B, a D, and an F. Well, none of those would work here, B, D, F. We've got a B, D, but it's a G. And so here we can see it's chord one of B minor. So the key is B minor, not D major, because it wouldn't work that way. Although the key signature is the same, the harmonies don't fit. And so the triad is chord one, or you could say the tonic. So that's the way we're going to have to think through. There may be some shortcuts along the way, but basically that's what we're exploring here. Now we're in a key signature of five sharps. We've got F, C, G, D, A. Now it could be B major, however here that sharp tells us straight away that we're on chord five. It's a double sharp, so we've raised the seventh, which is already a sharp. So we already know that we're in a minor key and that's chord five. So the minor key that's related to B major is G sharp minor, shares the same key signature. And if we're in the key of G sharp minor, chord one is based on G sharp. I'm not going to bother with the sharps here though, because the key signature deals with that. Chord four is based on C sharp, and chord five is based on D sharp, D, F sharp. So all of those are sharps, and then this F sharp and your key signature is raised again as the seventh degree of the scale and we know it always falls in the middle of chord five and if we check we're in the um, alto clef that's C, the next door note is D, F double sharp A which we can see we've got here so it's chord five or the dominant but just chord five will do so that tells us straight away really there's your super clue to get that sorted. So now we have another one here, we could be in F major or we could be in D minor which is the related key. So in F major chords 1, 4 and 5 which are our options. Chord 1 is based on an F, chord 4 is based on a B flat, your key signatures there, and chord 5 F, G, A, B, C so we've got F, A, C, B, ooh, B, D, F, C, E, G. And if we're in D minor, chords 1, 4 and 5 are going to be based on the D, E, F, G, A, D, F, A, G, B, D, A, C, E. And of course that C sharp would be raised to the seventh degree of the scale. So let's see what we've got here. We've got um, a B. D, F. So we can see that chord there answers it, so we're in F major. There is no option here that would answer that, although the key signature is shared, the harmonies are completely different and they don't fit. So we know that we're in F major, and the B flat, D, F is chord 4, or the subdominant, which answers that question. There we go. So that's the end of that question. That's also the end of paper A of the 2018 grade four practice papers. I do hope that that's been helpful to you. These past papers are an excellent revision resource. If you're preparing to take an exam, I suggest you do lots and lots of these and I've covered lots of years for this. Um, please, if you can give me a like, that would be fab and subscribe to my channel to keep updated. There's lots in store. And also, if you can um, pop around to SharonBill.com and have a look at all of the revision and resource and information that's available to help you there. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.